The DA in Philadelphia is asking the police department to look the other way on low-level crime. What that means is certain categories of crime would not be pursued by the police. Those criminals would remain on the street, would remain free. The DA thinks this is okay because he believes this keeps the coronavirus from being spread, perhaps, at the police substation, at the courthouse, at the jail. All right? But what's it mean for you? What's it mean for me? What it means for us, if we live in a city that adopts that kind of worldview, what it means is that there will be criminals among us. There'll be certain crimes that police aren't pursuing. And that means we have to be ready to defend ourselves and defend our families. Have to be ready to defend our homes, to be honest with you. And you see across the country, people understand this. There is a fear right now of civil unrest. Whether there will be such unrest, no one knows, but there is a fear of it. There's a run on guns that's almost unmatched. In Colorado last week alone, gun sales were up 100%. At ammo.com, they're reporting ammo sales up, on average, 276%. The American people understand one thing at a time like this. It's not that we need more gun control, no. At a time like this, what the American people understand is I need a gun. I need a way to defend myself and my family, and I need bullets to feed that gun. Folks, I just want to stress to you, sometimes it looks a little crazy when you watch the news today, and when you feel that closing in on you, and when you fear that civil unrest may be a reality for us one day, and you decide personally, hey, it's time for me to get a gun. When you do that, throughout this process, keep one thing in mind. Ultimately, your safety is in your hands. My safety is in mine. It's up to us to keep our families safe.